people, I'm Jennifer Ziliotto. A few days ago, a good friend of mine sent me an excerpt from a book that she's reading called Daily Rituals by Mason Curry, and it was an excerpt written by Georgia O'Keeffe. It's all about her daily rituals, and I, of course, I was inspired, and I thought this was a great topic for today's Style Fix video going into the weekend. I wanted to share with you my morning ritual. So first of all, I wanted to read you the quote. Here it is. I like to get up when the dawn comes, O'Keefe told an interviewer in 1966. The dogs start talking to me and I like to make a fire and maybe some tea and then sit in bed and watch the sun come up. The morning is the best time. There are no people around. My pleasant disposition likes the world with nobody in it. I can totally relate to that. Can't you? So let me tell you now about my morning ritual. Basically, what I do is I usually find myself getting up before everybody else. You know, I have to admit, I used to be a night owl, and since I've had kids, that has completely reversed, and I really love the quiet of the morning. So I get up early before everybody else, I make myself a cup of tea, and I put it in a nice teacup, simply because I like drinking my tea hot, and I find this is the perfect size. So I have one or two cups of tea, um, and then I sit here in my little nook. This is sort of like my sacred space. I have some candles, I have crystals, and it just kind of really grounds me to start the day. I try to not look too much on my phone, on social media, the news, before I kind of do a few things, just to make sure I start my day off on the right foot. So I grab my journal, and I often record my dreams. I don't know about you, but during this whole COVID, I know it's been a thing, but my dreams have gotten way more intense and I usually remember four or five of them throughout the night. And I quite like to um, record it because I find there could be messages in them or just, I feel the more I write down my dreams, the better I remember them and um, it's easier to kind of control them a little bit uh, so that you don't have nightmares, etc. So I write down my dreams and um, then I have revisited something that I used to do all the time and I've just recently started doing again, which is writing 10 things that I'm grateful for. So I start off, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm so grateful for, and I write a list of 10 things um, of what I'm grateful for and just I find it really gets me in the right kind of mindset and remember and reminds me to remember all the little things that we're so lucky to have. I, it's really easy right now to go down that path of negativity and feeling angry and complaining so that's a nice way for me to reset myself. The other thing I, that I do every single day is uh, this started about three years ago when my mom was first sick um, in the hospital. I started off doing a quote of the day and an email to a small group of people which grew to about 25 people and has continued on now for about three years. So I tend to grab my iPad, I look through Pinterest, I look through um, notebooks because I often write down great quotes. Sometimes you've seen the quotes because I'll illustrate them and then I'll use them on my Instagram and social media later on in the day um, as a quote of the day because it's been really fun and, and you've been enjoying that so I will continue doing that. That is part of my daily ritual and it's a, it's been a really nice thing for me to do. Um, often I choose quotes that are sort of something that um, is sort of um, highlights a little bit of what's going on in the world or something I feel like we kind of are needing to hear or sometimes simply I just choose a quote for something that I feel like I need to hear and it's that simple. And then after I've done all those things I may pick up a book, I may pick up my iPad and do some sketching, um, have a piece of toast and then after around about an hour of sitting here and doing my quiet things, I tidy up a little bit and then I go upstairs and do yoga. So that's it. That is my morning ritual. I would love to hear what you do on a daily basis. What are one of your rituals? Please share that with me. Um, and 
If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. Pass it along to a friend. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And then, of course, for more ideas, for more inspiration, for some of my daily quotes, you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.